Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's a the Beast Pokeballer here as always guys and we're coming at you with the first Wi-Fi battle in a while now today we're gonna have a UU live Wi-Fi battle against my friend Taves He's a mod for me on twitch.tv slash Beast Pokeballer uh, Come down to the streams if uh, you guys if you don't already now I was requested to do music 4 by my friend Andrew aka person 715 so let's get into this guys uh, like I said it's a UU battle and the Pokemon we are bringing are none other than a Darmanitan, like usual. I have Mega Beedrill, a Venusaur, um, what's the name of this thing? Honchkrow, Milotic, and Galvantula. Now, looking at his team, I see the start will probably be that Mammo Swine, I'd assume. Um, now, guys, this is my first Wi Fi battle in a really long time, so it'll be kind of sketchy on how well I do. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is start off with Dixie Kong, aka the. Uh, Darmanitan, because it does have that U-turn with the choice scarf, so hopefully that will be good, and, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Nice. Kind of nervous, kind of nervous. Tabes is a really good battler, um, he gets up really high ranks on Pokemon Showdown. Uh, he's even battled Hayden before, so, <laughs> quite the challenger, quite the challenger indeed. Alright, what's he gonna send out? He's gonna send out the Frostlass, that's good news for me, I think. Uh, he's most likely going to switch, so I'm going to go ahead and throw out that U-turn. Or I could be, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to throw out the Rock Slide, um, in case he doesn't switch. Also, if he does switch, he's definitely not expecting the Rock Slide. So it's kind of a bold prediction for turn one. Usually I know you want to play it safe turn one, but I'm Luke. I don't, I don't play it safe, guys. I play on the wild side. So yes, he's going to withdraw. Let's see that Salamence come out. That'd be kind of cool. Hey! That's what I'm talking about. Now, the Salamence is most likely Scarf, and this is probably not going to kill it, uh, especially after the Intimidate. But the Rock Slide was quite a good prediction on my part, for sure. So that's going to do a ton of damage. Um, yeah, he did not expect that at all. So what I'm going to do real quick um, is, let's see, what can we do right here? What can we do? Uh, I probably doesn't have anything good against our Venusaur. So I'll go ahead and switch into that. Um... Yeah. Like, I don't understand why Venusaur is in. <laughs> Are you? It's an OU Pokemon. Anyways, uh, I don't know. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I could stay in and go for the Rock Slide. It all depends if he's Scarfed. That Lucario is actually probably Scarfed. I'm not sure he wanted to take two Scarfed Mons, so maybe we should risk it and go for the Rock Slide. I would like to not lose our uh, Dixie Kong this early on, but I guess we'll go ahead and risk it anyways. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's going to withdraw the Salamence. That would have been a good turn to switch out, but it's all good, guys. He's going to go into the Lucario instead. That's fine, and I'm going to go for that Rock Slide. It's not going to do very much at all. Yeah. Um, all right, that's a good play on his part. So that means he's most likely not Scarfed. I think he probably would have outsped. So what we're going to do now is go into Grace or Milotic, knowing that I could probably eat any hit from this Lucario. Uh, it doesn't have adaptability. It's not Mega. See, so yeah, I think that's a great idea. This could be Choice Scarfed. This is probably Choice Scarfed. Now, is it special or physical? Probably special. I think most of them run special, but it could be physical too. You never know. He's close. All right, it's physical. Um, so its defenses are going to go down a lot. Um, and after the leftovers, we should be able to live another one. It's Life Orb, actually. All right. Now, I definitely don't want to sack Grace this early. So I'm wondering what the greatest play for me to do is. Um, I could just pray. We might have to sack Grace. What? What else? He has that Whimsicott, and Ice Beam would definitely be good against that. Uh, but I suppose we don't need it a hundred percent. Uh, I think we're safe to just go for the Scald. I know if we live, it will kill. Probably, especially after the defense uh, drops, or we could go for the Recover. I don't really know how much that will do. Um, because he'll. I'll just be able to kill us probably next turn. Or it could stall out a little bit. Uh, it's, it's, it's a risk. Um, I think I'll play it safe and go with the recover this turn. Just to see what he does. He's going to withdraw nice. So that's a free recovery right there. Can he go into his one Scott? The Ice Beam would have been a great prediction right there. But that's alright by me. Um, yes, we're going to go for the recover. Our Venusaur can completely wall out this Whimsicott. So what I'm going to do now is just switch into that real quick. I don't care what it's got to throw at us. Encore is the worst that I can do, but we have Sludge Bomb to take care of it. I believe we have Sludge Bomb. So we go ahead and go into Green Giant real quick. It's uh, packing the leftovers as well. 
because I couldn't find my black sludge. Uh, I need to power save another one in, but that's fine. Yeah, so we'll be able to wall everything. Alright, it's gonna go for the U-turn. That was smart, that was smart. Um, I could have gone off like a toxic or something there. So now he has a free switch into whatever he wants. I don't know what he's gonna go into. What's his mega? His mega was uh, Sharpedo, right? Alright, he's gonna go into a Frost Sauce again. It's a good switch on his part. Um, now, I believe he could definitely eat up one of his hits, but again, I don't really want to risk it. So, what I'm gonna go do is. Is he predicting the switch, maybe? I would like to go back into Grace, but I don't know if he... Does this thing get freeze-dry also? Probably not. Well, Grace is super specially defensive, and I know it can probably eat up whatever he has. So I guess switching back into it would not be a bad idea at all. So we'll go ahead and do that. And also, guys, I apologize for not having a layout. I have Cohen, uh, if you don't know him, great graphic artist, making me a new layout and everything for Wi-Fi Battles coming soon. Because the Wi-Fi Battles will be a lot more prominent. I right, just gonna go for the spikes, which is definitely, definitely a good play on his part. Um, that would have been a good. T I forgot this thing got spikes. Uh, yeah, definitely a good play. Well, let's go for the scald, I guess. Nothing else to really do. We could toxic. Uh, this thing is really frail, so the toxic all it would do is be good if he switched. Does ice resist ice? Oh, I should know that. I'm just gonna go for scald. 184 ice. He's gonna use spikes again. Smart, smart. Uh, that does get rid of our galvanulus focus sash, so that is definitely a thing to uh, look out for now. Wow, that doesn't even do as much as I thought it would. Um, but it's okay, because he still definitely can't hurt us. So I'll just go for Scald again. He's probably going to get up one more layer of the spikes. Yeah. Damn. That would have definitely been a good thing to stop, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Scald's not going to take it out. Is he going to get the burn? No, we don't need the burn. So this turn, I'm, all, I, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Uh, just in case he switches. I don't think he will, but just in case. He's gonna use Destiny Bot. Sure, I should've used Toxic. What if Ice Beam doesn't kill? That'd be sweet, but it's probably gonna kill. Yes, that's awesome. That is, oh. Oh. All right, so he doesn't expect this Toxic. I know he doesn't. He's gonna use the Ice Beam to lower the speed. That's fine. That's the one that lowers speed, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Grace is no speed demon. Let's go for the toxic real quick right here. It's gonna take that damage. And actually, what I'm gonna do is go into my Galvantula here, cause he's not gonna die, right? No, he's gonna be very close to dying. Yeah. So I will real quickly switch into Charlotte. Um, so hopefully, we'll definitely be able to get sticky webs off. I don't know if we'll still be able to get an attack off yet. Uh, it's definitely a risk. That Ice Beam turned out to be a really good play. Even though it's kind of a mistake. He's going to use Destiny Bond. That is perfect by me. Goodbye, Frostlass. Goodbye. So he could go into the Lucario this turn and outspeed us. But I don't know if he has anything to kill us. He might have... Does Lucario get Rock Slide? I don't remember. I think it does. I think it does. Correct me if I'm wrong. What is he gonna go into? Let us see. Uh, the Whimsicott maybe? Could Encore us into Sticky Webs, um, but in that case I would probably just go for an attack. Bug Buzz, I guess, neutral damage. Galvantula doesn't have the greatest special attack, but it is doable, and could probably take out Whimsicott. Whimsicott's pretty frail, if I remember correctly. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. He's going to go into the Salamence. Um, he probably outspeeds, doesn't he? Well, I definitely want to get off... What did he do last time with the Salamence? He switched out. We don't know what it has. We don't know what it's carrying. It's probably Choice Bandit, I would assume. Do we even need sticky webs that much? Uh, it would definitely help. Definitely be helpful. So, do we have speed? I guess I can look it up real quick. Salamence's speed. We'll go ahead and go into our own. Uh, and go into the summary. We have a speed of 176. And I'll go to Salamence. 
it's gonna have a speed stat max on level 50 according to Bulbapedia of where is it where is it base stats level 50 speed is gonna be alright so we outspeed unless it's scarfed I don't believe it is and uh, I don't really care if this thing goes down to be honest I just want the sticky webs up they're gonna do a lot uh, so we'll go ahead and go for the sticky web so he could be scarfed he is not scarfed that is perfect that is perfect all over the place I wasn't assuming he was scarfed. Uh, that's good too, because now we get another attack off. Uh, and the thunder will not kill, but it will do good damage. Now, do we want to save? Uh, I don't think we really need to save Charlotte for anything. Nah, he does have the Sharpedo. Um, but that will probably outspeed, I assume. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, I guess I should check that too. I'll check that too real quick. Mega Sharpedo. Come on, internet, you need to be fast at the battles at the line. I guess Sharpedo's gonna have a speed stat on level 50 of 172. So we would outspeed that too, uh, without the speed boost, that is. So, what are we going to do? I definitely don't think Thunder's gonna kill. Let's go into Grace and see what he has to throw at Grace. Uh, cause Grace does have the Ice Beam. So nothing should do too much. Is this like a Super Stally type of Salamence? Who knows. Gonna take the damage from the spikes, it's awful. Ugh, Fire Blast. Wow. So it's special attacking, we know that. Those are pretty common in UU if I remember correctly. Um, definitely VGC <laughs> from what I remember. Uh, so he knows we're going to go for the Ice Beam, so what I'm going to do is going to throw out the Toxic real quick. He's probably going to go into the Lucario or the Sharpedo or something. Now, knowing that, we could make another Risky Switch into something like our Galvantula. We could double switch into Galvantula. Actually, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to double switch into the Galvantula. I think he's going to switch into the Sharpedo. Hey, okay, that's good. Um, I'm just gonna stay in, in Thunder at this point. Uh, cause now that I remember it, thinking about it, uh, his Sharpedo is gonna be slowed down by Sticky Webs, anyways. So we might as well stay in. Um, that was l lucky hacks on our side, and also I should have stayed in against him there. Um, but Thunder's gonna do a lot of damage. Fire Blast is gonna connect, and that's gonna be a dead uh, son of a gun, real quick. That is fine by me. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is going to be drill going to go in no hmm <sighs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Al Capone which is our haunch girl and I'm gonna use pursuit predicting a switch because he's gonna expect the sucker punch actually he's gonna go for a roost isn't he I'm just gonna go for pursuit. See what happens. It's gonna use roost. Fuck, that's terrible. That does that does good damage though. He's gonna have to do it again. What's he gonna do? He's gonna use Roost again, yeah, that's what I thought. So the next turn we're gonna use Sucker Punch. Cause it's called Mind Games, boys. It's called Mind Games. Now if he gets the Roost off, then we're screwed. But I think that he's going to attack this turn. No! Alright, he goes for the Roost again. Dang, that's not good. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'll strike go for Brave Bird. I think he's going to roost again, personally. No, he's going to go for Draco. That's going to be really bad if we lose our Honchkrow this early on. Or it's not really early on, but I don't want to lose Honchkrow, and we lost Honchkrow. Not good, not good. We really messed up there. I could have just easily gone into uh, Darmanitan. That's what I'm gonna do now, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll go into Darmanitan. I'll use Flare Blitz because uh, he's probably gonna switch. He has what? Fire Blast, Draco Meteor, and Roost. He could be mixed and have the Earthquake. I don't think so. I hope not. But yeah, I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz. See if we can catch something in on a switch. If not, it should still do good damage. It probably won't kill. Yeah, he's gonna withdraw. Nice. What are we gonna hit? Whimsicott. Yeah, that's a dead Whimsicott. That is a dead Whimsicott. Unless it has like Focus Sash, but even then, uh, we'll be able to outspeed it and kill it next turn. Yep, that's a dead Whimsicott. Good job. Hit him hard. I believe Rock Slide probably would have killed either way. Um, we wouldn't have taken recoil. But it was the safest thing we could have done. Now, what's he going to go into now? Sharpedo? Could go into Sharpedo get the speed boost. Uh, predicting my switch. That's what he could do. Is he going to? I don't know. Come on, Tabes. <clears throat> Overall, this has already been a great battle. Um, I know that for sure. This battle has been extremely fun. I do quite enjoy it. It's going to go into the Salamence. Ah, uh, the Intimidate's gonna go off, that's not good at all. Definitely don't want to lose our... this thing. So what I'm gonna do is go into Grace. That's definitely the thing to do here. If he goes for the Draco, uh, it will hurt. I don't think it will kill. Maybe after it spikes it might though. I doubt it. But it will still hurt a lot. If not kill. It's gonna go for the Draco. Come on, Grace, hang on. Hang on, Grace. Uh, yes, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're still dead, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're most likely still dead. What I'm going to uh, do here is go for the recovery. It's just a smart play. We're not going to outspeed. And if, if we do, yeah. Oh, the hacks. That is great. He misses the Draco meter. God, we needed that. That's the second one he's missed. That's 90% accuracy he's missed. So now we're definitely going to be able to live. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just straight up go for the Ice Beam. I don't want to make this mistake and over-predict like I did before. So we're just going to shoot out an Ice Beam, see what it hits. Uh, he's most likely going to switch, but it is definitely the safest thing to do. He's probably going to go into Lucario. Um, he probably doesn't want to risk getting any damage off against his Sharpedo, because it is a Sharpedo and it is very frail. Uh, but we will see right here. He's going to go into Lucario, yeah. Uh, can we get some free sacks though? That'd be sweet. He's going to get caught in sticky webs. That is huge. We should outspeed, possibly. Unless he's scarfed. Uh, then again, he's most likely scarfed. So it's going to do not too much. Uh, we're going to get some recovery right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just stay in and go for the Scald. Hope for the burn, or we outspeed. No, he's Life Orb, isn't he? Yeah. He's going for the Sword Sense right here. The burn would be huge, because that would mean that he just wasted that turn. Alright, we don't get the burn. That's okay. That is okay. Um, actually, it's not okay. But, what I'm going to do is just stay in and go for the Scald again. He's probably going to close combat, and we're going to die. Yeah. That's fine. It's fine by me. His defenses are super lowered at this point, so we can come in with Darmanitan and use any attack, and it should kill. Uh, especially with the life over, li life over, with the life orb damage. Is that what I want to do, though? 
He, he probably has extreme speed. Probably has extreme speed. <sighs> really don't want to lose Dixie Kong, but it looks like I'm going to have to risk it. Uh, what I could do... Uh, Spikes is already out too. Yeah, I'm just going to U-turn here. See if anything happens. Yeah, he's going to go for the E-speed. Uh, I really hope that kills him though. Don't know if it will. No, it's not going to. That's unfortunate. So, what we'll do is... Um, I should... Mm, no, that would have been a terrible... This is a terrible play, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Well, I'm just gonna... Mega Evolve and Protect. Um, it's kind of all up to Autobot here to win the game. Which I know he can. But it's unlikely. So what I'm gonna ha probably have to do is Mega Evolve and then take the switch. Um, he might predict the protect also and go for Swords Dance. Ooh, that... That would be really not good. Alright, so we Mega Evolve. Get that big stinger. Gonna use the Protect. Sword Stance would be awful. He's gonna go for the Earthquake, that's great. Um, I don't know why he's not going for E Speed. So, I guess what I'm gonna do here... He can most likely kill us in one hit, and he probably can't kill Green Giant, and we need to save our Beedrill. So I guess I'll switch, uh, which all that did was waste health, which was not a good thing. I really didn't need to do that. And yeah, we're probably gonna- we're not gonna lose uh, Green Giant here, or are we? Jesus, was that a crit? Did that really do that much damage? Jesus f That- ugh. Okay. Well, we have Autobot now, and we're going to see if he can finish anything off. Again, it's going to be really risky. Uh, I don't know if he can. We're going to be able to outspeed the Sharpedo for sure. Probably one hit kill it as well. Especially with U-Turn. Uh, especially after Sticky Webs, too. So we can get a speed boost all he wants. We should still outspeed afterwards. U-Turn uh, with the adaptability is going to definitely kill him. I was going to go for the Protect, get the Speed Boost. I believe he's going to need two Speed Boost to outspeed us again. Probably, so. We'll just go for the U-turn again. We are jolly max speed, I believe. We could be adamant. Which might actually be a game changer for him. Come on, Tabes. <laughs> Make a mistake. Alright, he's going to Mega Evolve here. So, which means that he's not throwing out the Double Protect. He might actually just lose his Sharpedo here. Um, are we going to outspeed? We are going to outspeed. That should take him out, definitely. This thing's frail, and we're a hard hitter. There we go. That's a dead Sharpedo. What else does he have left? Does he have the Salamence left, I believe? We can definitely take that out with a Poison Jab. Oh, the Intimidate. That's actually huge. That is huge right there. Um, but, heck, we're going to go for the poison job anyways. Hopefully it will kill. Ah, oh, that is that is devastating right there. That's going to be the loss, guys. Uh, but that was a fantastic battle against Tabes. I'm actually proud of myself that I did that well for my first battle back in such a long time. Uh, but, yeah, his silence is going to go down, so he's going to one us. Uh, but, yeah, that was a fantastic battle. I think that mistake with the Venusaur actually caused us the game. Um, maybe not, but yeah, that was a great battle, uh, GG Tabes, um, so yeah, follow Tabes on Twitter, I'll put his Twitter in the description, and, uh, that's gonna be the video, how'd you can that like button for me, and peace out guys, I'm out, and see ya!